26 tonight, two days after Andre Jackson was sentenced to life in prison for the killing of 11 year old Josue Flores, neighbors on Houston's near north side are worried again. They say a Salvation Army facility like the one Jackson was living in is returning to their neighborhood. Adam Bennett shows us the changes they want to see and what elected officials are promising. It's now been more than three years since this shelter on North Main Street closed its doors. It faced intense public pressure after Flores's murder, though Salvation Army officials blamed expenditures on the closure. Neighbors here say they're not against helping the homeless. They just don't want a return of the problems they dealt with before. After an emotional week for Houston's near north side community. No, no, we don't want them here. Can you not understand that? Emotions boiled over outside the old Salvation Army facility on North Main Street. Homeless, transit, everything coming in here, walking the streets, doing the drugs, urinating in front of your house. Problems lifelong residents Linda Vallejos and Claudia Macias. There was a man and a woman having sex in front of children. Say went away after the men's shelter closed in 2018. I sent my son to Lamar High School. I sent my daughter to the Bakey in the Med Center to get him away from this. But now Stella Morales Walters says a Salvation Army representative told the community they're planning to reopen the facility soon. We do not want them to open the door. But if they do, Morales Walters is calling for the nonprofit to cover the cost of 24 hour constable patrol at the facility and the surrounding area, which includes four schools. She also wants clients to sign an agreement to not loiter, camp, or expose themselves or risk losing services. Salvation Army uh, has visited with me. They have indicated that this will not be a shelter type of facility. It'll be administrative uh, for the most part, some case management, but not a overnight facility. Commissioner Garcia says the Salvation Army owns the property, so what they do with it is their call. He's considering basing some sheriff's office patrols at the building, a community coming together to help keep its growth. Yeah, we should be able to say what happens in our neighborhood. Going down the right track. We reached out to the Salvation Army today for more information about this plan, as well as reaction to the community's concerns, but we're still waiting to hear back. Adam Bennett, KHOU 11 News.